بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm going to show you an application very interesting one which is here uh, it's here let me go to a new one and uh, it's called visual paradigm so there are two versions of visual paradigm one of them is online and one of them uh, you can download it so if you want to go to the online you can just say uh, Google visual paradigm paradigm online and this will take you to here online you can register you can register here and you can uh, uh, okay English yeah this is the online one Okay, so uh, yeah. these are there are some products and something. So my workplace because I'm I'm logging in already here. Okay, I'm logging in. If you are not logging in, if you are out, then you will see here. You put after you register, you put your uh, email and the password and then login then you will go to your uh, workplace close this you don't need it and you go to this one visual paradigm online diagrams and you will find whatever diagrams you already saved so here for instance I am saving this diagram I created here and save it here so here you can create any use case diagram if you want to create a new one you can go to new and uh, new here and you select here whatever you want of the of the uh, diagrams most of them here are uh, it's related to that one yeah so you can you can go to create another uh, for instance let me say uh, sequence so these are the sequence diagram all, all the different type you can create many types this is the sequence diagram so you can, if you want to create a sequence diagram from here even there are something which is uh, uh, mind, mind map or, and whatever some databases and everything here all the types anyway so I'm not going to use this one uh, the one I am going to use which is go to Google which is better if you can load it uh, you can go to visual mm, paradigm dime, download download and then from the download you can here you go to the community one which is a free so there are some for the Mac if you want or whatever yeah you can find for Mac if you here is the one when I load it here let's say download visual paradigm community so that will download that one uh, it, it takes time to download it after you download it just straightforward go and run it and you will get uh, you will get the uh, application so now I'm going to finish this because already the application is here if I go to here and this is visual paradigm that's the one so I already run it I have uh, this one which is running when you run it it come to this one so if you have projects or whatever it will be here but how are you going to create the first diagram I'm going to create which is the uh, sequence diagram so this is diagram navigator if you go to diagram navigator usually I pin this in because I want to see this one and there are many of these uh, diagrams which is the UML which I'm concerned about so this is the use case diagram if, I, if you right click here and say new use case diagram or new diagram new use case diagram okay and you call it give it a name it close this one don't need 
and give it a name here, diagram name, if you say, for example, uh, test use case diagram, which is, in fact, this is the name of your application, whatever your application. And then all these are related to the use case diagram. So what you need to do here, you have to uh, get this the system, and you can put your system here, which is, for instance, your application, for instance, advising. And then you have the actor here. Uh, for instance, here is instructor. And use cases, you can create a new number of use cases here. Okay, so this is use case, for instance, here, login, for instance, because every system will have the login. And you can have here, which is for this one, it could be, it could be linked to uh, a new diagram, if you want, we will come to, to this. You can right click here and select whatever you want here, okay, or you can have another one, which is put it here. And there is a link here. You can link this to this. And there are different types of, of link here. For instance, this is include. Include. So as you see this include, of course, this is in the opposite direction. Now delete it. Delete. Yes. Yes. So I take it from this to this. I take it from here to here. And include. And whatever you say, like like uh, uh, verify, verify, or just just without name, without any name. So this is the include, and here uh, can can have include, we include because you need this, which is like uh, password, password, or credential, check check credential credential okay so this is um, extend and you can have another one you can have another one uh, you can have another one and you give it a name as you like and you can have another actors here you can have actors here from this side which is for instance here banner or whatever and then the connection between them here association if you have the association here from here for instance to yeah, association from here to here to the login and you see when you move it it will move with that one uh, this might be the banner needs to check whatever here for instance grades Enter, enter, grade, upload, upload, file, and you may have here another actor here, which is the student, student, and the student have association here from here to upload file okay you can write whatever you say but it is self-explanatory to this one and then this could go to banner okay go to banner I think you can you can as well you can go to here and connect it from here directly and you select whatever type you want so this is normal type yeah like that so let me show you one of these uh, application which, which is uh, uh, which is the one I have uh, just show you here which is online I have online one okay so the online here this is I created this online as you see here there's customer here there's login include verify credential and here is request website that's that's uh, 
customer will request a website to be developed by a developer and then when he submit this uh, then the developer will check the idea and the idea it could be approved or modified and this is if modified could be extended which is if it's not possible to modify it would be denied so extended to be denied and here is make payment and here access dashboard this is access dashboard yeah it's so simple uh, website development uh, that's done online so this is the way of doing this so this is for this video the next one I'm going to talk about a specific uh, project so this is a general idea uh, how to uh, download the software which is the community uh, version and how to use the online and how to create a, a use case diagram